It's early in the morning and I've already checked out of my lodgings. The chat behind reception said, have you enjoyed your stay? I simply retorted, it's not over yet, big fella, not by a long way. This is the day of days. Best in show. the biggest day? Is it a stressful day for you? It's busy, it's fun, but um, yeah, it's, it's certainly managed. Oh, you look up with the trophies. And there she is, if I may try and personify Ooh. the trophy. Is it, do you mind if I... No. OK. Just a slight... No. Jim? Yes. Sorry to, sorry to butt in at such an early hour, but to wish you all the very best. Thank you very the much indeed. Show tonight. Do you feel rested? You've come down from Scotland? Yes, we're, we're completely rested and we're... Uh, uh, pleased to be here. Yeah. Best of luck to both of you. Thanks very much. All we'll, very we'll try. Okay, and remember to lock your car door. Security yes. at all times. Thank you. Okay, lovely. Thanks. Simon, who was that you were speaking to there? I was speaking down to, to Paul, who's kind of the floor manager down there. He's my link to the floor. So obviously I need to know exactly what's going on all the time. But I need to check the timings that we're not running late or anything like that. So obviously I slot stuff in, you know, as and when it's appropriate to the competition. Good job, Simon. All the best. Um, ha have there been anyone trying to come in for a sneak peek and you've had to go back off, son? Over the years, there's been numerous occasions where people have tried the door. Yeah. Uh, but when you see me half naked answering the door, they're not there for long. I mean, I'm with him just now and he's fully clothed. Seeing him half naked would again <laughs> probably facilitate one of my turns. Elmo and Entourage, uh, hello to Entourage, but a special <laughs> hello to Stephen. Um, how are you feeling? Feeling fantastic, very excited for the big day today. Focused <laughs> and ready for the big one. I now find myself at the commentary area. Jessica is preparing her notes for the big night ahead. Frank Kane, Peter Purvis and Jessica Holm, the holy triumvirate of canine commentary. OK, I can now see Julie Brown arriving with her boxer, Max. Uh, Julie, how are you feeling? Uh, very excited, but very nervous. Very nervous. Well, I tell you, get, get into yeah. the holding area. This is a holding area Thank for the much. finalists. Cheers. And de-nerve as best you can. Thank this you. Holding area. you decided on the wardrobe tonight? I have, yes. It's over there. Do you want to have a look? OK, this is a clue of the wardrobe for tonight. As we can see, there's an electric blue underlay with a, a darker, slight paisley patterned overlay dress stroke jacket. I think that's the correct terminology. I'm not an expert in ladies' fashion. But what I will say is that it does look very good on the hanger. And I think it'll look very good on the television as well. She's a youngster and she's here and enjoying it and I am too. So I'm sure the nerves will settle in a little bit later on this evening, but so far I'm okay. Okay, well just, <laughs> just stay chilled. Uh, that goes to both owner and dog. There goes Gavin, chilled, relaxed. Cool as ice. This is a rehearsal, everybody. This is a rehearsal. Coming to VTB, run B with sound. Is that Dougie Anderson item going to be ready on time? Yes, Jerry. Don't worry about panic, because the steward will be standing by your board, OK? Working the final with briefing to the finalists for well. best on show. But who will win? To be honest, I don't know. It hasn't yeah. happened yet. But if I could sum up the feeling in this room in just one word, it would be tense. And in two words, very tense. Each one will do that Good luck to them. they come for The judge will then come to the beginning, walk the line, and when he turns.